Hello there, I am Jenko with my Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we took on the Black Lagoon City Pokemon Gym, took on Queer and the Gym Trainers, these Dragon type Pokemon. And after the battle, when we beat Queer, she doesn't give us the Gym Badge and she starts to go to Dragon's Den and get a certain item or whatever, go to the Shrine. So yeah, let's see here, Pokemon. Yeah, okay, I'm making sure that, okay, yeah. Mystic is, um, level 4 2 and up in my party, first up in my party. I got Gyarados and I tarred, um, Whirlpool and Waterfall and Surf, so that's pretty cool. Gyarados makes a really good, uh, Water HM slave in this game. And then Megan and, uh, Blaze are in the PC right now, so, yeah. You wanna also have an empty slot in your party for this because you're gonna get a Dratini for free. But then it, I think if you answer the questions a certain way, um, you will, um, yeah, like one that knows extreme speed or something like that. Hmm, good to see you here. No need to explain why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? That girl is a handful. Uh, I am so sorry, but I must treat test you. Not to worry, you are to only to answer only a few questions. Ready? What Pokemon to you? So, um, I think depending on which how you answer, yeah, you'll get a Dratini that, uh, no, it's extreme speed. I won't be using this strategy on my team, so like I'm fine with it. Not having extreme speed if I mess up and answer the wrong questions. I think it's friend for the first question. Pokemon are friends, I guess. Oh, I understand. What helps you uh, to win battles? Strategy, raising, cheating. No, you don't want to say cheating. I'm pretty sure you don't want to say cheating. So I guess raising, raising my Pokemon. Oh, I understand. What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? A weak person, a tough person, anybody? I'm gonna go with anybody. Yeah. Oh, I understand. What is most important for you raising Pokemon? Um, love, violence, knowledge. I think love, yeah. I'm gonna go with love, yeah. Oh, I understand. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. Which is more important? Um, I'm gonna go with both, honestly. Hmm, I see. You can, you care deeply for Pokemon. Very commendable. Uh, this conviction, that conviction, is what I is important, Stephen. Don't lose that b belief. I will see you through at the Pokemon League. Then, then Claire comes in. She looks, she looks like Sonic the Hedgehog when she walks. When you see her back, you know, that kind of looks like Sonic the Hedgehog, honestly. <laughs> how did, yeah. So how did it go? I guess there's no point in asking. You did fail. Uh, okay. What you passed? That can't be. You're lying. Even I have, haven't been approved. And the master's gonna go over and talk to her. Claire! This child is impeccable in skill and spirit. Admit defeat and confer the rising badge. Okay, that's what the badge is called. Oh, oh, must I inf- Or must I inform Lance of this? She's all shocked. I, I understand. Here, this is the rising badge. Hurry up, take it. We get the rising badge from Claire. Awesome. Haha. <laughs> nice. Steven received a rising badge. Rising badge will enable your Pokemon to use the move for climbing and waterfalls. Waterfall in that case. Also, all Pokemon will recognize you as a trainer and obey your every command without question. Cool. Awesome. Claire. Reflect upon what it is that you lack and this child has. Okay, she just kind of leaves. Um, also, I think if you get, you talk to him again, he'll give you a, a, a Dratini or something. Well, maybe if you go back in and go exit and come back in, he'll give you a Dratini. Wait! There's Claire again, awesome. I'm sorry about this. Here, take this as in my apology. We get TM24, which in the later games is Thunderbolt, I believe, but in this game it's Dragon Breath. Put the MTM's pocket that can distract me. No, it doesn't have anything to do with my breath. Ha ha ha. If you don't want it, you don't have to take it. I want it, I want it. What's the matter? Aren't you going to, to the Pokemon League? Do you know how to get there? From here, go to New Bark Town and go east. Then surf east to the Pokemon League. The route there is very tough. Don't worry, d d don't you dare lose at the Pokemon League. If you do, I'll feel even worse about having lost to you. Give it everything you've got. Thanks, Claire. So if we go back into the shrine, I think we'll give it a training now. So yeah. Sucked him. Oh, good to see you here. Uh, your rival is most fortunate. I have something for you. Take this Dratini as proof as that I recognize your worth. We got a Dratini. Awesome. Nice. Connecting the Dratini you received. Yes, okay. 
I always think they might just Drago, because I one of us in Dragonite. It um is a Dragonite of course, but I like Drago because I I used to watch Bakugan and I like his, I like how Dan nicknamed his uh, Dragonoid Drago. I call it a Drago. So I'm gonna always yeah, I think that's what I nicknamed my um my g Gibble in my Pokemon uh Diamond Redo Walk the Guide. So that's pretty cool, Drago, yeah. A dragon Pokemon are symbol symbolic of our clan. You have shown that you can be entrusted with one. Awesome, thanks. We have free Dragonair or Dragon Dratini, I mean not Dragonair, but Dratini. Whatever. Okay. So it's level 15, so if you want to use this on your team, it's gonna be have to be caught up in levels, obviously. Because I think all your Pokemon will be at least like over 35 at this point. So yeah. So it has 4,218 experience under its belt. It needs 902 experience to level 16. It knows Rap, Thunder, Twister, and Extreme Speed. So I did answer the questions right, where I get a Dratini that has Extreme Speed, which is awesome. So it knows Rap, Twister, and it has Rap, Rap Thunder Wave, T Twister, and Extreme Speed. Its attack is 28, its defense is 23, its special attack is 22, its special defense is 22, and its speed is 33. So that's pretty cool. So let's dig out of here, honestly. Use an escape rope really for free, because we can just dig. Nice. Sand, there's use dig. Cool. Okay, okay. Uh, Professor Elm's calling us. Cool. Hello, Steven. I have something here for you. Come swing by my lab. Okay, see you later. Cool. Well, actually, I'm going to be lazy and just fire block the one city and heal up a Pokemon just in case. And, uh,. Yeah, um, I'm going to put Drago and my Drag Gyarados in the PC, and we're going to get uh, Megan and uh, Blaze out of the PC. For, so yeah, although I do probably want to keep, um, I do probably want to keep Drago, or not Drago, but um, Gyarados, because I think we need Waterfall to climb the Waterfall, of course. So I'm going to have to decide who I'm going to put in the PC, but I'll, I'll, I'll decide in a second. Okay, well, what I decided to do is I've deposited Slowbro in the PC because the Gyarados are, you know, Surf and Waterfall and Whirlpool, so we're good on knowing in a Pokemon that knows Surf, so I thought that was the best choice. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see, a Mystic's a friend. Cool, let's go to, um, let's use Oliver to fly to, a uh, New Bark Town then. Nice, okay. Uh, it's been a while since I've been here. Let's go in the Pokemon lab and talk to Professor Oak then. Uh, not Professor Oak, but Professor Elm. Yeah, let's talk to him. Hi, Steven. Thanks to you, my research is going great. Take this as the token of my appreciation. We get the Master Ball, which is awesome. Which we'll catch any Pokemon without fail. That's awesome. The Master Ball is the best. It's an ultimate ball. It'll catch any Pokemon without fail. Any wild Pokemon without fail, that is. It's only to uh, recognize Pokemon researchers. Okay, cool. I, th I may have misread that. I think you can make much better use of it than I can, Steven. Thanks, man. So yeah, as Claire said, we go surfing uh, east of New Bark Town, and we can make it to the Pokemon League. And actually, we're going to be in Kanto soon, actually, which is the Generation 1 region. And Generation 3, I guess you could call it for Fire and Leaf Green. So yeah, awesome. Nice. I suppose effect a while. Okay, we might want to put another Pokemon. on. I might want to get more Pokemon off screen, honestly. And deposit some items too. In fact, I might do that real quick. I'm gonna be right back, you guys. Okay, so I bought 16 uh, Max Repels. As you see right here, now I have 25. And I put the Dragon Fan and the Max Elixir in the, my PC. So that's awesome. Now I can move on to Kanto, which is just across this water. I should put a Pell on though, because yeah, I knew it. On a counter. Okay, that was just um, a, uh, a tentacle that. Uh, was level 21 that I fainted with one quick attack using a Mystic's quick attack attack. <laughs> yeah, hey, do you know what you just did? You've just taken your first step into Kanto. Check your Pokemon Gear map and see. Okay, so if you check a Pokemon Gear map, dang it, I meant to. Whatever, okay. So yeah, we're in Kanto now, which is awesome. We're on about 27 apparently. Nice. So, uh, yeah, make sure you have Waterfall here with you because you need to waterfall to scale waterfall to get through here but yeah i'm gonna go over to get the item real quick i'm gonna put a repel on though because i don't want to run into another wild pokemon honestly so yeah i'm gonna do that Here's a item, it's a rare candy, very worth picking up, awesome. Nice. 
Yeah, the water is common. Do you want to surf? Of course I want to surf. Tojo Falls. Okay, cool. I think there's an item to the left, actually. So let's go to it. There's a moonstone. Awesome. So if you if you have a um if you're like a needle king or a needle or a needle vina that involves in the needle king or needle queen, you can finally evolve with that with using that uh with using that uh moonstone we can you know, use waterfall right here to come the waterfall and we can just go down the waterfall, nice. And then back around, okay cool. Okay, I think I just nearly skipped that person. I think this, this person gives you the TM for a sunny day, I think. Yeah, Pokemon League, are you with Pokemon low enough to win? Let me see. Hi, right, Pokemon trusts you very much. It's nice to see a good trainer. Here, take a gift for your journey. Team 37, which I think is either Sandstorm or it's Sunny Day. I think it's more Sandstorm. Yeah, it's Sandstorm. Okay, the move out inflicts damage on both battlers. His advanced turners only. Use it if you dare. Oh, good luck. Okay. I'll just keep it in my bag, I guess. Let's take on this trainer right here. It's rare to see anyone come here. Any? Are you training on your own? Yes, I am training on my own. Thank you for asking. Ha ha ha. Cool. Here's cool trainer uh, Megan. Cool. She has a Bulbasaur. I love a 47 Mystical and Psychic. So that's pretty cool. Let's uh, go with the headbutt, I guess. This Bulbasaur is up there too, and uh, male. It flinched awesome. Let's do it. Let's use another headbutt then. Nice. Okay, I'm an Ivysaur next, okay. So this Ivysaur is level 32 and male. Okay, cool. Does about half. Okay, it flinched awesome. Nice. There we go. One uh, two hit KO, I should say. Do you have a Venusaur too? Or just another Ivysaur? No, you have a Venusaur. Okay, cool. So she has a Bulbasaur, a Venusaur, and an I Ivysaur. Cool. Let's go for the headbutt because it seems to be working well with us. This Venusaur is level 32 male. It flinched awesome. Let's do Sleep Powder, but it didn't affect. Okay, good. That's good. That's good. Nice. There we go. The Venusaur goes down. There we go, Mystic. Awesome. It takes the level 4 3. Awesome. Co cool trainer Megan was defeated. Cool. Oh, you're really strong. Thanks. Thanks for for the 1,536 uh, Poké Dollars. There we go. Nice. I think we're post still on, so that's good. Here's another trainer right here. Let's take him on. You look pretty strong. Let me battle with you. I'm gonna just add this Pokemon battle out. But yeah, that's cool. Yeah, because so this uh, cool trainer had a Magnumaton, a, a, a um, Quagsire, and a um, Execute. So that's pretty cool. Cool trainer Blake was defeated. Awesome. Yeah, well, thanks for 1,480 Poké Dollars. I may have misread the amount, but whatever. Wait, what's over? Is this the only entrance? I th yeah, okay, never mind. Wait, is there a thing down there, though, in the water? Let me see. No, I guess not. Okay, cool. Let's take on this trainer right here. Hmm, you're good, aren't you? Again, I'm just gonna cut this battle out. Because that cool trainer only had um one sand slash. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Just as I thought. Thanks. Thanks for 1,680 Poké Dollars. Here's another trainer. I'm gonna cut this battle out. Ha ha ha. Don't say a thing. Let me guess what you're thinking. Oh, this must be a psychic, I guess. I got it. You're on the Pokemon League challenge. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, so this cool trainer uh, had, or whatever, the psychic guy had a Starmie, a Giraffe Rig, and a Execute. So that's a bit cool. Psychic Gilbert was pretty awesome. You're too much. Thanks for 1,068 Poké Dollars, it looks like. Awesome. I'm gonna actually show this battle for a change of pace. So yeah, here's a cool trainer. I think um, you shouldn't underestimate the wild Pokemon in these parts. That's actually true because they're actually high level and stuff. I won't actually underestimate them. Here's cool trainer uh, Rena. Okay, cool. She has a Stormy. Nice. 
And well, I guess I'm not Mystic here. Was, I'm gonna see what your Shadow Ball does, because that one's gonna be super effective. The Storm is level 31 in Gendoist. So yeah. There we go, awesome. Yeah, Mystic's in level 44, awesome. Starmie, okay, we're we'll staying with uh, Mystic, I guess. This Starmie is probably also level 31 in Gendoist. Yeah, I was right, cool. There goes the Shadow Ball again. And it um takes it out. Oh no, it doesn't take it out. It hung on by the skin of its teeth, I should say. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, okay, bubble beam, yep, okay, let's go for the quick attack. Nice, okay, cool. A needle queen, okay. I wish that a uh, mystic always knew psychic or side beam to, for this would be 10 times easier, but whatever, let's go for the headbutt. Snake Queen's level three. The Snake Queen's level thirty-three. Awesome. It flinched. Let's use another headbutt then. Awesome. She's body slam. Oh no, it's gonna hurt. Okay, yeah. Just another head headbutt, and then she's quick attack. I guess. Ooh, quick quit. Nice. Awesome. We don't even need to use quick attack. Awesome. Cool. Quatrain Arena was defeated. Awesome. You're too strong. Oh, you're too strong. Thanks for the 1,488 Pokédollars, though. Thanks for the compliment, too. Yeah. I'm gonna edit this Pokémon Battle out. It's an, I think it's a Fisherman this time. I'm feeling great today. I feel like I could boot even the, po the League Champ. Whatever. You, uh, sure, you can. Okay, so this guy had a Quillfish, a Seeking, and... Um... I forget the third Pokémon, honestly. I honestly just forget. Wow, okay. Fisherman Scott was defeated. Cool. No, this can't be. No, oh, whatever. I skipped your dog. I'm sorry. Thanks for 1,360 pocket dollars, man. I think we're running, we're gonna run into a house soon that, uh, has, uh, that has, oh shit, they're pill off. That you can heal up your Pokemon by taking a rest there. Let's use our last, um, super pill. Here's another train, of course. Hey, look at those badges. I'm I'm impressed. I could go to the left and get like an item, but I'm gonna skip that honestly. I'm gonna skip this battle too and skip his dialogue. Skip, 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 skip sandwich reference from Earthbound. Yeah, that guy has just, that psychic guy just had an Espeon. And uh, I'd use the skip sandwich reference from Earthbound twice in this playthrough now. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, up here is probably another trainer honestly. Nope, we can actually use, um, just rest up at this house. Awesome. You put one that got a little tired. Um, you should rest them for a while, them a while. Cool. Nice. There. Your Pokemon are looking good. Keep at it, thanks. Thanks so much. Is there an item in this grass or just walk grass, I guess? Um, just a house, okay. What if we go in the house? What happens in the house? Nope, there's no one there. Okay, whatever. Okay, we don't want to hop over the ledge because then we have to go all the way back around. That wouldn't be fun at all. That wouldn't be fun at all, man. Okay, so I still have Mystic up front, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's take on this trainer right here and get to pick that berry tree, I guess. Since you've come this far, you must be good. Yeah, I'm gonna skip through your dog, man. Sorry. <laughs> and skip through the battle. Okay, so this cool trainer had a Pikachu and a Blastoise. That's pretty cool. Mystic's not level 45. Awesome. Now, yeah, Quatrina Joyce was defeated. Awesome. No, I don't believe this. And yeah, thanks for the 1,000. Yeah, okay, whatever. Thanks. Okay, so it's a, uh, it's a fruit bearing tree. Um, hey, it's ice berry. Nice. Cool, an ice berry. Nice. I'm gonna skip through this battle too, but yeah, we just dialogue, I guess. By experiencing tough battles, you gain power. That is true. That's very, very true. Okay, so that guy had a Victory Bell, a Flareon, and a Kingler, and uh, Mystic fainted, so that kind of stinks. Scow, life is even tougher. Sorry, man, that's a 1,536 Poké Dollars. I'm gonna go back to the house and heal real quick. Okay, so I'm actually on my best go a little bit faster, and we're gonna take on this train right here, and of course I'm gonna skip through his battle. Yeah, nice. Yeah, preparations for the Pokémon League is important, yeah, you're right, if that's what you said. Okay, so that cool trainer had a... Um, Golduck and a, um, and a, um, 
Parasect, I think, yeah. So this cool trainer Drake had those two Pokemon, yeah, I blew it. Except for 1,600 Poké Dollars. <laughs> but there's an item down there. Okay, the, I think this person has like a Rapidash. This cool trainer has a Rapidash. I lost the train named Smat. He was really strong, but it was as if he absolutely had to win at all at any cost. I felt sorry for his Pokemon. So that's the second time Smat's been, uh, you know, mentioned by other trainers. Interesting. So yeah, this cool trainer, um, Beth, sent out Rapidash. Cool. This is Rapidash, is level 36, so that's cool. Let's go for the headbutt, I guess. Nope, okay, Mi Mystic is still sleeping, I forgot about that. Now it's gonna get a free agility up, dang it. Let's go Sanders, I guess. Okay, let's go to let's use a dig, I guess. It's gonna use fear attack on Sanders, of course it is. There you go, nice. Sanders dug a hole, of course he did, yeah. Let's go let's um use dig now. Ha, <laughs> nice. There we go, when he KO awesome, I'm gonna take it. Cool. Cool trainer Beth was defeated. Awesome. Pokemon on tools of war. That's what the elder said back in the first like couple parts. Alan Schoolboy's calling me again. Hello, it's me, Alan. Are you ready? Is any Pokemon properly? I read a book that should tell you to raise your Pokemon and how to catch with uh, you catch with love and care. Yeah, okay. By the way, you knocked out of our Pokemon Bell Sport the other day. Studying up in advance worked. See you later. Okay. Here's an item, which I forget what it is. It's a max elixir. Cool. Nice. How many I'm just, how many spots do I have in my bag left? Because I well, I'm just gonna see how much I have in my bag right now. Or candy and moonstone ice berry geez. Yeah. Okay. So uh let's see if we can uh, come back around here. Go through this building. Which is, um, the Route 26, the Pokemon League represent Reception Gate, I guess was what it said. Yeah, only trainers have proven them themselves may pass. Oh, that's the J badges of Johto. Please go right ahead on through, go right on through. These two ways are blocked off. I think the left way is the Mount Silver, which we get to later. The right is a different place, I think. Yeah, wait, it leads to like the route west of, um, Viridian City. To at least the Pokemon League, actually. So this um, is the Victory Road. I think all you need is strength, really. I could be wrong, though. But, um, I'm gonna tee up and put them off screen, and I'm also gonna, um, deposit, like, these four items. My Rare Candy, the Moonstone, the Iceberry, and the Max Elix in my PC. And then uh, we'll be ready to take on the Pokemon, uh, Victory Road, I guess. This Victory Road is actually kind of short. So, yeah. So, um, I'll meet you guys uh, back here in the next part, I guess, right here. I'm um, at the front of Victory Road, I guess, being in Victory Road. So, yes, this is the go again. I'm gonna let them see you goodbye. So, this has been my Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough Apart. The next part will do just that. So, yes, this has been go again. I'll let them see you goodbye. And I'll see you guys next part of my Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough Guide.